Okay, so, uh, thanks, Juan. Okay. All right, Salam Alaikum, everyone. Um, I'm going to talk about character, God willing. Don't worry, no assassinations have been planned. Um, okay, and unfortunately, I'm using a PDF, so it's kind of small, so I'm on my phone like this. Um, I was actually inspired by uh, Jamal's sermon when he came to San Jose, when he was talking about how people see your garment of righteousness, like that guy's honest or that girl's steadfast, you know? So I started thinking about that. Um, so I was thinking, your character then is what serves as your garment of righteousness. Not to be confused with personality, which is based on uh, nature and nurture. And personality traits like being playful, gregarious, independent, social, they're things that we're born with and um, they're either nurtured or not nurtured during childhood. And later on, that forms our personality, you know, including our character. Um, so uh, character is a systematic, repeated behavior that can make us strong, kind, and dutiful. So there may be some overlap between character traits and personality traits, but the difference is that um, it makes up your character if it's if you're making purposeful, purposeful choices on a regular basis in order to become that trait. So for some people, um, it's easy to strengthen certain traits that they've been born with, right? Like they're, they're prone to. So for some, it might be easier to be steadfast, while for others, it might be easier to be kind. God says in 428, God wishes to lighten your burden, for the human being is created weak. In 90 verse 4, we created the human being to work hard to redeem himself. While we should uh, strive to do well at anything we do, like school or work or uh, charity or anything else, uh, we do this for the sake of God alone. Like work and school don't have any meaning in the afterlife. In the end, our character is what matters, not our looks, not um, our worldly intelligence or our money. 2577 Say, you attain value at my Lord only through your worship. But if you disbelieve, you incur the inevitable consequences. So getting up at dawn to do your prayer just because God tells us to builds character. Every time we do salat or give to charity, we grow our soul. And it becomes bigger and bigger, little by little. So on the day of resurrection, God willing, we can withstand God's presence. Weak souls are those with weak character and they won't be able to stand God's presence. So you might know you're weak if you're chastised by others very often, um, but when you're strong, you chastise yourself because you know, there's discipline involved. Your but your character matters to God. So in Surah 68, the Surah where God is not mentioned, apparently, according to the, <laughs> to the poll. Um, so God's talking to Muhammad and says, you are blessed with a great moral character. You will see and they will see which of you are condemned. And then it goes on to say, do not obey the rejectors. They wish that you compromise, so they too can compromise. Do not obey every lowly swearer, a slanderer, backbiter, forbidder of charity, a transgressor, a sinner, unappreciative and greedy, even though he possessed enough money and children. So those are some of the traits that we don't want to work on improving, you know, because you can still build your character the opposite way by continually doing those things that you shouldn't be doing. So what's your response to a situation? Do you get angry and swear, or do you stop and reflect? And I think it's a good segue from Mary's. Um, so do you choose to keep a confidence with somebody, or do you gossip, and you just can't help yourself? Uh, do you take advantage of someone's mistake to make more money, or do you correct that mistake? Um, and I've had to do that a couple of times. Like, I got paid an extra day, and I was like, you know what, I have to go tell them. But mashallah, he's like, just, just forget it. Just, we're, we're good. You know, and talk to the accountant. So much of that, like God, you know, God gave me extra for being honest. So, um, And then 39.23, God has revealed herein the best hadith, a book that is consistent and points out both ways to heaven and hell. The skins of those who reverence their Lord cringe therefrom. Then their skins and their hearts soften up for God's message. So why should we work to strengthen our characters? Because God tells us so. We hear and we obey. God doesn't say directly, hey, build your character, but throughout the Quran, we're given plenty of examples. So going through tests will either strengthen us or we'll fail. When we're tested, we see firsthand what we're made of. God shows us our weaknesses and what we need to work on. 4.128, selfishness is a human trait, 
so is self-centeredness, and a bunch of other things. 31.18, you shall not treat the people with arrogance, nor shall you roam the earth proudly. God does not like the arrogant show-offs. These are things we should work on, and we have to really reflect to understand who we are. You might not think you're arrogant, for example, but I bet you can find like certain situations where that might be true. Um, uh oh, prayer time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and then maybe others can see things that you can't, so you can always ask others too uh, what they see in you. Uh, denial is one of the main reasons we don't change, and denial stems from the ego. So uh, one of my favorite quotes is from Tony Robbins. No, I haven't read any of his books, but I like this quote. Uh, it says, change happens when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. And if you think about it, it's like, if, as we know God's system, you know, God gives us happiness. And we go through these tests and we get pinches. Like, how much pain do we have to go through to stop and reflect and turn our lives around, you know, and do what God wants us to do? For submitters, it's easy. Either we stay the same and end up lamenting and sorrowful, or we change what matters to please God. So what are some of the traits that please God? Uh, 42, 43. Resorting to patience and forgiveness reflects a true strength of character. And 31, 17 says, you shall observe the contact prayers, you shall advocate righteousness and forbid evil, and remain steadfast in the face of adversity. These are the most honorable traits. 3119, walk humbly and lower your voice. The ugliest voice is a donkey's voice. So these are just some of the things that we can work on. Did you like that, Arsh? <laughs> so what are some of the ways you can strengthen your character? Well, the main way is through practice. Being mindful of your actions during the day. When you're mindful of God, then it's easy to be aware of what you're doing and your behavior in the moment. 6.162, say, my contact prayers, my worship practices, my life and my death are all devoted absolutely to God alone, the Lord of the universe. So when you're devoting everything you have to God, then how can you not see what's going on? How can you not see your behavior and what you're doing? Um, another way to reflect is, uh, another, sorry, another way to work on yourself is to reflect after the situation happens. There's some people that are in the moment kind of people, and they don't stop and reflect. Um, but you can still reflect afterward, because God tells us to. In 7, 176, had we willed, we could have elevated him therewith, but he insisted on sticking to the ground and pursued his own opinions. Thus he is like the dog, whether you pet him or scold him, he pants. Such is the example of people who reject our proofs. Narrate these narrations that they may reflect. And lastly, when you're reading Quran, you can take notes of the traits that God deems righteous um, and think of ways to practice that trait, like pick one trait and work on it that week, you know? Um, if you search for what God loves and what God doesn't love, it gives you a pretty good list. So keep in mind that your character becomes strengthened through repetition. It doesn't mean you get it right every time. 4230, anything bad that happens to you is a consequence of your own deeds and he overlooks many of your sins. God is most gracious, most merciful. All we have to do is wake up every morning and try again. When we choose God every day, we get ever closer to him. Every day is a decision, and God willing, we'll all die making the right decision. And last, uh, 6, 132, everyone will attain a rank commensurate with their deeds. Your Lord is never unaware of anything they do. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Are there any questions? Don't go anywhere. Any questions, comments for Brenda? Anyone? Here's the gym. Compared to many years ago. Um, do you understand character basically means the characteristics of our soul? It's the real self that committed the big crime up there and with all the deficiency um, that we exhibit up there, we are here to correct. Um, did, did you meant character in that sense? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. um, I did want to go into like, you know, the Greeks and like throughout history, people are like working on their character, you know? Um, 
but yeah, I think the whole point is that if you have a good character, then you're gonna be following what's in the Quran anyway. Because that is what a good character is, even throughout the ages and different cultures and stuff, you know. Yeah, the things we think of as good character is like a godly person. MashaAllah. So. Thank you. Any more questions, comments? Fair enough. Assalamu alaikum. So uh, my question for you is, if somebody has a character flaw, um, do you think that this is something that they can be able to change? Um, uh, like, it, do you think it will always be there, or do you think it's possible to get rid of that flaw, like, permanently? Okay, well, like I said, character isn't personality in that sense, that it's, um, so you know, you you're not character? born with it, right? Yeah, what would you define as a character flaw, then? A character flaw? Um, lying. Because if you're repeatedly lying, then you become a liar, and you get better at lying. And that's, that's taking your character the other way and it's shrinking your soul. Thank you, Brandon.